I feel trapped in the mind of Jake Paul. And I want to get out. <laughs> so do I jump into the mind of Logan? <laughs> so, okay, I wanted to like jump in and do an update and also a disclaimer and also an apology. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> uh, I do actually want to apologize because there was some backlash and people feeling offended and feeling like I was making a horror movie out of an illness or disorder. And I 100% understand. I think I got carried away with the whole like, ooh, I can make this scary. I love editing scary stuff and like, and I didn't completely think it through. And, and like to treat a person like a scary monster is like not cool and I shouldn't have done that. So I apologize for that genuinely. Another thing I saw was people saying it's insensitive that you are like trying to diagnose Jake without him knowing. The truth is he knew the whole time. Did Shane tell you what it is really about? Yes, he did. He told me before the series started what it was really about. I was like, yeah, bro, like, go for it. Like, let's, let's do it. In episode one, I said, do I think he's a sociopath? I don't know. I do want to sit down with a, like a professional to get their opinion on that. And I told him I'm going to do that, but I cut it out. And the reason I cut that out was because I was like, oh no, I want to be like more mysterious, which I shouldn't have done. There are things he doesn't know. This is definitely like new territory for us. <laughs> like no. So. That's what's happening. Jake is coming. You'll be in episode five. Today's episode is about his family. Now, this is the disclaimer part, his mom. I know she's not loving this series and she's taking it kind of hard and I understand. 100% it's her son, it's her family. It's like, these are real people, right? These aren't just characters in a YouTube video. These are actual real people. And after learning so much more throughout the last month and a half, now I understand why the mom makes videos the way she does. And you're gonna see some of her videos today and you're gonna be like, oh, it's not great. But then when you find out why, it just kind of makes sense. And now I feel kind of bad. She is probably the only person older than me who can really get through to him about most things. So I don't want like a bunch of people to go hate on Jake's mom. Like, I just don't want that. She doesn't deserve that. And you'll see why. But speaking of the family, so this is where it gets interesting. I talked to Logan. Um, I, <laughs> I, I've been afraid of uh, Logan this whole time. And that's a fact! That's truth, guys. That's how life works. I didn't want to go into this, like, trying to expose Logan or talk about Logan. It was about Jake. But then the more I fell down the holes and the more I realized and researched and the more I learned about sociopaths and the more I learned from Jake personally and people in his family and people that talk about Logan. I'm really nervous, guys. Like, it's my first... A big scene in my first big Hollywood movie. And I just want to, I'm just, yo. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. Freaking hell. This is what I was born to do, bro. The more I was like, uh, I can't not talk about this because it's Jake's brother and they were raised by the same people. Like, this is connected. I never talked to Logan directly and said, hey, just letting you know I'm doing this. Because everybody said I didn't have to. Everybody's like, he's not gonna care. He didn't care about filming a dead body. Why would he care about what Shane Dawson's doing on fucking YouTube? But like, that was how my brain worked. So he tweeted, I'm gonna make a response video to Shane's series. And I had a fucking panic attack <laughs> uh, and started freaking out. So I DM'd him. Um, and he said I could share these. So I'm gonna share them. Okay. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> I said, sorry if you were offended that I kind of insinuated maybe you were a sociopath. And then he responded with, um, yo dog. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> was it D-A-W-G? No, it was just dog. Oh, whoa. Yeah, we stand. <laughs> I am like ner- Oh a, my god, this is so weird. What is this? I, no, I, I gave up on answering that question a long time ago. Okay. Yeah. Yo dog. I think what you're creating is fucking incredible, in all caps. Oh, nice. I know you're a good guy with good intentions. I just feel like the audience might be slightly ignorantly misled, and I want to address a couple of those things. I trust you. And I was like, whoa. First of all, thank you. Wait, so do you think you might be a sociopath? There was a couple things I didn't read in that message that kind of seemed like it. I was like, do you think you're a sociopath? They're like, what do you mean? And then he said, I'm on the sociopath spectrum. Okay. 
I never lose. So I'm not a therapist, and Katie's not around, so I don't know what all this means, but I'm gonna say, well, I'm gonna kind of go over it. He said, I'm on the sociopathic spectrum. I wouldn't say I'm a sociopath, but I would absolutely say I have sociopathic tendencies. And at the beginning of the year, I was at a place in my life where they got the best of me and they consumed me, which is when it gets dangerous, obviously. Life is more complex than he's a sociopath or he's not. Jake, for example, definitely has tendencies, as we all do. Which is interesting, as we all do. But, but he's also nice and empathetic as fuck. And at random times, and off camera, he's so nice for no reason, like feeding the homeless. This is a trait he's had that I've always envied. Which I thought was kind of interesting. Wow. That's, right? so, that's so wild to have the emotion of envy about somebody right. having other emotions like that. Right. That almost doesn't make any sense, but I, I guess it kind of does. It's right. It's complicated, right? I said, do you feel empathy? Because it, if you feel empathy, then you're not a full sociopath. He said, of course I feel empathy. The level at which I feel it differs for each topic or subject, though. And then I was like, if you want to talk to me in person for the series, like, I'll like let you take control of that conversation because I'm actually very curious. I've never heard somebody admit that they have sociopathic tendencies. That is fascinating to me, yeah. right? And I don't know if he's manipulating me or if he's like, I don't really know, but I have to respect him for saying that and for being like okay with me saying that he said that. Yeah. And I mean, I've seen videos of Logan like at funerals, right? He's talked about this. He doesn't cry at funerals. He vlogged it at a funeral. Everyone is gonna die. <laughs> and I, I'm sorry, like I hate to be the one to break it to you, but death is, is going to happen. It's inescapable. So he didn't have empathy in that situation, but is that his fault? No, if he has sociopathic tendencies. And I think um, you're emotionally, uh, and you can say I'm full of shit if you want. Nah, I know what you're gonna uh, say. You know, emotionally you're just not connected not. to death the way I am, for example. I, um, I think he is right. I shouldn't be pointing a finger and being like, you might be a sociopath, because that's fucked up. And I was wrong for doing that. But I'm really fucking excited about this new chapter, because like, this is a shit I'm interested in. Like, whoa. Logan Paul just said he has sociopathic tendencies. Logan, like Logan Paul just admitted to that. And I like that because it makes sense. Yeah. If he would have just said that from the beginning and said like, dude, I have sociopathic tendencies. I was raised a certain way that made this happen. Trauma, whatever. And like, I don't have an empathy switch or something. Yeah. Sometimes it doesn't turn on and it didn't turn on. And it's a fucking disorder. I think everybody would have been like, huh. Yeah. Right? If it's one in 25 people, there's a lot of fucking people hiding out there who are afraid to admit that they have tendencies like that. I guess they're not afraid. I don't know! It's confusing! <laughs> Maybe there's more than we think where, you know, there's a quote unquote sociopath who's not dangerous or evil. Then it's like, okay, then that then that's like an right. exception, I guess. It's it's it's, yeah. it's wild. And then the last point I wanna make is that we are not all abusive monsters or serial killers. A lot of us are just completely written off as abusive. And that's what Logan said in his first DM to me, that he said, I think people are getting confused and thinking sociopath and psychopath are the same thing, and they're not. He's like, I am not a psychopath. He's like, I'm not a sociopath, I just have tendencies. But I'm not a psychopath for sure. And a psychopath is somebody that was born that way, it's in their brain. A sociopath is made. You guys saw it, my family is so lighthearted and, and although we did get serious and we did mourn, what we what today was was a celebration. Sometimes you might feel things which uh, I think are okay as an actor, like I'm feeling emotions, it's a good thing. Are we gonna fucking do an interview with Logan? Ooh. What even is that conversation? That Iconic? <laughs> I Logan know. Paul being like, yeah. I have tendencies. Oh no. I mean, just being, because I want to talk to somebody that oh, really man. is like, I'll, yeah, it's not my fault. Oh yeah, oh man, you've been wanting to talk to a, a, well, a person with sociopath tendencies. If it just happens to be a little weird. Whoa. Oh man. How many parts is the second end of being? What the heck are you doing? Ready? No! Here we go! Oh! How we do it now. I challenge all the Jake Paulers to do it. No, I can never be as cool as my dad. I'm never gonna be as cool as him.
dude, what are you doing? Dude, I've been tased before, it doesn't affect me. What? Oh, maybe if I go to his channel and search like oldest videos. Oh yeah. Jake Paul, Daily Life One. Okay, <laughs> not much has changed. See the red light? Come on, I'm running it. Getting that tan on though. Swag, 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 swag. Hashtag tool, swag, swag. Why are you always trying to jump out the window? Don't jump. No, don't jump. Telling the dog not to jump out the window. That's good. Actually, if you what? jump, if you jump, you can actually pool. land in the pool. So if you want to jump, just go ahead and jump. Just go ahead and jump. Just do it. Come on. Jump. Jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds ago. This is my bay catcher. This is how I catch bay. Let's go. Damn it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> the first video you clicked on there. Not great. No. Let's see how it ended. <laughs> get him! Get him! Get him! Put him in there! Put him in! Come on! Put him in the water! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in! Put him in. Sorry. Am I hurting anyone? Yes. Sorry. Property. What's up guys, so that's the end of vlog day number one. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm super tired. Good night. It's Listen, all I saw was, um, you know, breaking the law, telling an animal to kill themselves, jump in the pool, telling your friends to beat each other up, come on, what are they? laughing at a security guard, am I hurting anyone? Yes. Saying you're gonna catch a girl with a net. Damn it. Anything else? Hmm. No dead body. True. Have you ever been around somebody like that? No. Like. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think we're gonna be friends. <laughs> like, I don't think we're gonna like, hang out. Right. I don't, I don't. Why not? Sorry. I wanna cancel this. Is it too late? <laughs> I have hope, I still have hope. For this what? This is gonna be fine, I don't know. <laughs> Something I haven't done yet is uh, look into Jake's parents. Getting to know the parents will help me understand the child and why Jake is the way he is. Usually, I would just meet them, <laughs> but luckily, both his parents are on YouTube. <laughs> so, so this is the dad. I have like no idea what to expect. What's I've this? heard weird things about the dad, but I've, I've never. I've definitely seen. heard stuff, yeah, like on like Phil DeFranco or Keemstar. Or but Deji said that Jake Paul and Logan Paul's father, Greg Paul, he attacked a fan at the press conference. Fuck Jake Paul! Fuck Jake Paul! The haters will never, ever have an effect on the Paul family. We all make mistakes. Dr. Phil even said, hey, Logan's a good kid. GP's out. Right. I don't know. All right. I mean, I'm not going to judge yet because I, I literally have not seen him. What's this video called? This is called... <laughs> Sorry, this video is called Logan Paul's Dad is Extremely Creepy. <sighs> All right, I'll judge for myself. In light of recent events regarding Logan Paul filming a dead guy, left me with a couple of questions that I'd like answered. The most important question being, why is Logan Paul Logan Paul? I got to thinking about that the past couple of days, and I came to the conclusion it 100% has everything to do with parenting. 
And that's what happened here. So, who's nuts? Did Jake Paul and Logan Paul come from? All right, the culprit here is none other than vlog dad Greg Paul. Yo, what's happening, folks? And if you think this is cringy, we're just getting started. Ohio workout routine, savages only. Now my dad is like, yo, I'm a better kisser than you. I got more experience, bro. Dad, there's only one way to settle this. We and have to kiss the same girl. So am I picking the girl? And then you have to guess, you have to say one, two, or three was the best, okay? Maybe All right. four. Contestant number three, step on up. I don't want to like, ugh. <laughs> I don't want to get involved in family drama, but I almost feel like that might be inevitable. I mean, I guess if this is like a whole deep dive investigation on why he is the way he is, then we have to look at the I parents. mean, that's like, I mean, I, I went to school for psychology. That's like the number one thing that they talk about. Oh wait, there's like news about the dad? Where? Wait, there's like news? Nick Crompton reveals Jake Paul's dad abused Team 10 members and employees. Greg Paul, the dad of Jake and Logan Paul, has reportedly completely taken over Jake and Logan's businesses. People had issue of being verbally abused, watching their coworkers be fired around them and not being kept in the loop. Apparently, Greg Paul doesn't know how to act. He calls people and and derogatory terms at work. If that's true, then that definitely counts as verbal abuse and we'll have to wait and Okay, I wanna to talk to Nick about that. Let's see if he wants to talk about it. Which one should I click on? My ears are crooked or I stole Jake's diamond. What is what is this? What channel is this? <laughs> this is Bob. Is that him? Oh, that's him. Yeah. Calm down, Apollo. Apollo, calm down. Apollo, Apollo, calm down. Who did that? Which one did that? You guys like my new shirt? Africa. <laughs> what happened? Dad is vlogging, and in the background, the dog is barking. And the girl's holding it, and then Jake and Logan are trying to tell the dog to be quiet. And then Logan grabs a plate and smashes it right in front of the dog. Really? And it's like, be quiet. Like, it's like a joke. And the dad's just like, watching. Like my new shirt. You guys like my new shirt? It's not like they, it's not like they kick the dog or something, right? But like, the fact that they broke a plate that close to a dog. Is it on camera? And it's on camera, and the dad, and nobody's acting like it's crazy. It's weird, yeah, right? A hundred percent. I mean, it was Logan that did it, not to stick up for Jake, <laughs> but Jake was like just kind of watching. Calm down. It's okay, buddy. Like that's next level. Uh, what are you looking at? He took his shirt off. Gone sexual with his son. With his... Hmm. They're exploiting him a little bit. That's a little weird, right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna hold my thoughts until I see more of the mom. Are they together? I don't think so. I've never seen him like in the same place. Oh wow, mom's not even in dad's other channels. That's, that's a messy divorce. You don't put her in your box, bro. What? <laughs> I'm trying to make a joke. Jake Paul's mom. Oh my God, is that her son naked? Where? In the zip lining one? Like a sensor bar? Whoa, literally. What is this? Literally, what is going on? This is like too confusing to even understand. I'm gonna give everything a benefit of a doubt until I meet all these people. What I hope is going on is the mom has no fucking idea what's happening and neither does the dad and they're just vlogging and then maybe somebody's making their thumbnails and titles. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Okay, uh, what do I click on? Cause, oh, okay, with eggplant. Wait, what? Oh, with the eggplant, TMI, with Logan and the eggplant. Oh. Literally. Oh, 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 o
Right. <laughs> uh, do I click on the hero or her talking about her son's dick? That's what it is. I don't know. <laughs> I'll start with the TMI. <laughs> Transformer <laughs> So far, I'm in. So today, I decided since there's not a lot going on to watch Logan's vlog, I just had to comment and get involved. Is there, Shake is your there... parents' hand, which I liked as a what young man. Do That's Greg's fault. Greg should have taught Logan to walk up to the door and shake parents' hands. That's the boy's job. I mean the dad's job to teach the boy. Greg didn't do that either though. Wow. What was, was she just like dissing Oh her yeah. Like feud? Well that not only was a feud, but that was like kind of telling. He didn't do that either. What does that even mean? I now, now I don't even feel bad about getting involved in family drama because they literally are doing it. They're having family drama in their vlogs. Like, literally, yeah. Why did dad beat my ass when I was growing up? Did I get your ass? You, you, yeah, you, what you fucked up, dude? Oh, dude. <gasps> what? Oh my god, that title. Does Vlogmom reveal who she likes better, Logan or Jake? Ah! He's like using, using, that's cl as clickbait. Good afternoon, Pamela. How are you? I just she in the suicide force. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It was just like I saw Logan's video. It did pretty good. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, here's my Q and A. Is that going? In the, are you gonna keep doing the video? <laughs> hey man, I, I have to say a joke or else I'm going to have a breakdown. Okay. <laughs> Say hi to the family. What? Say oh. hi to the family. Jake's in it. What's that? You know what that is, you guys? You're just goofing with me. What is it? Are you vlogging? What's yeah, that? My... I'm so excited. Look what came. Look. Oh, look. Oh, is it the necklace? Yeah. Yeah, it's. This I got you. I know, so I didn't open it yet. Oh, you're opening it on your vlog. I'm opening it on my vlog. With you on the phone. Okay. Look at the mess it's making. I'm glad that we can have real connections now. It's <laughs> just both of each other vlogging. I know, right? Oh, I'm sorry. Ow. <laughs> Ow. I. Okay. I feel so fucking uncomfortable. What do I do? Andrew, help me. <laughs> No. Okay, I love you. I've never vlogged a birthday gift before. I love you too, honey. Yeah, happy birthday. Okay, that is revelation number one. I'm gonna say something to put everything in perspective. Think about it this way, right? Justin Bieber has done a lot of the same things that Jake has done, right? Like yeah, 100%. Speeding and For driving recklessly through their neighborhood. And this is the kind of behavior that is unacceptable to be done by anybody, anywhere. Justin Bieber admits to cheating on Selena Gomez. Cops were called for excessive loud noise. Imagine if Justin's mom and dad were vloggers. And imagine if Justin Bieber's mom put up a video called Who Do I Love Better? Which Child Do I Love Better? And had Bieber in the thumbnail. I think as a society, we would all be like, oh, that's so fucking sad. Oh, that's so sad for Justin Bieber, right? I think everybody would feel that way. It would be like a news story, it would be on TMZ, it would be like a thing. Yeah. Because Jake is hateable and fun to hate, it's like nobody's talking about this. Because it's on YouTube. Because Justin Bieber's not really a YouTuber. Right. But in, in the YouTube world, everybody's a character, so it's not like they're real people. Oh man! Right. Whoa! When you put it like that, because that just seems so like I don't know what the word is for that. <laughs> wow! Look who's here! It's Jerrica. What? Time to go, guys. Yeah. 
Yeah. I don't give a shit about your vlog. You're so mean to me. You need to leave. No, that wasn't mean to you. That's just like, that's what I'm saying. She didn't even look at you. Erica doesn't want to be on camera, don't you get it? But neither did Jake. I know. <laughs> so, morning, Jaker. We got sleep and beauty. Yeah. Okay. Love you, Bob. Love you too, guys. When he walked out, when Jake walked out, he literally turned back around after he saw his mom was down there vlogging like he didn't want to come down. I'm sure that the mom loves them. And I don't blame her because she, I think she's probably so excited that people are like watching and she has a vlog channel. Maybe she's feeling a little bit like, oh, I, I have a thing too. 100,000 subscribers, vlog mom. Look at that. I love it, you guys, and it's all because of you. But what was their childhood like? Were there no boundaries? And if, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll ask Jake about it. I don't want to. Involved in family drama, but maybe he wants you to, you know. He knows he knows how you talk to people on camera. Why is he wanting to do a video with you too? That's another thing. Maybe he kind of is hoping that somebody kind of swoops in and kind of helps him with stuff like this. Like if he actually talks about this stuff and is real about it, like that that's gonna fuck me up. Which I can't do because people are gonna say like, oh, you're fucking like trying to make him look good and you're fucking whatever. Like that's all you do, Shane. You cry with people and you make them look good. Like, I kind of feel a little bad for him too. I know, I don't wanna say I feel bad for him because people are gonna think I'm lying. Or that. No, I get it. I mean, I definitely get it. I mean, maybe he's not that bad. Maybe he's like, he just is a byproduct of kind of the people around him. Maybe that's not even who he really is. Team 10 is a dysfunctional family. My family is a dysfunctional family. Everything in my life is one me. big dysfunctional Wait, help me out. Jake Paul draw my life. Yo, yo, yo. If you're new here, my name is Jake Paul and this is my channel. I'm currently 19 years old. I live in Los Angeles with my friends, Team 10. I'm an actor in a couple of movies and I make videos online for you guys. There's a lot more to the story and today I'm going to draw it out for you. My parents' names are Greg Paul and Pamela Stepnik. They already had another kid named Logan Paul, so this made us brothers and he was older by two years. Logan was also a savage. And I spent my whole life with them basically side by side. My mom gave me my nice and caring side, while my dad gave me my manly and hardworking side. My mom was a nurse. My dad used to be in the army and then became a real estate agent. And From the time I can remember, my parents instilled in Logan and I a great work ethic and a competitive spirit. Whatever we did, we wanted to be the best at, and we had the work ethic to match that. My brother and I would always train and work out to become better at playing football. My dad, Logan, and I would train all the time and push our limits to become better athletes. We would always see who could run faster, do more push-ups, and so on. Right around this time, my dad bought my brother and I a camera so we could record our football games, watch them back, and see how we could improve. My mom would be the filmer, and she was also our biggest fan. And our dad was the head coach of our Pee Wee League team. Football aside, Logan and I took the camera and... Like, I'm not a therapist, but your dad's the coach. And then you have to watch it again, and they tell you what you did wrong. The competitive spirit thing is a lot. Logan and I took the camera and started filming random stuff we did around our house. We started watching YouTube videos as our form of entertainment. Our favorite channel was called Smosh. We loved their videos and wanted to create our own channel. So, being the savages we were, we did. And we called it Zoosh. God damn it, Logan, what were we thinking? It was almost the exact same as Smosh. In the meantime, my parents had started fighting and eventually got a divorce. This was a bit of a hard time for Logan and I, but at the end of it, it taught us a lot about life. By the time I was in middle school, as you can imagine, I was the class clown. Always causing trouble, making jokes, and I couldn't sit still. I didn't like school. I still don't. In 8th grade, our class would go on a trip to Washington, D.C. at the end of the year. But you couldn't go on the trip if you had 15 behavior strikes. By the middle of the year, I had 14. 
So I became a good kid for the rest of the year and got to go on the trip. Savage. As a freshman, I no longer wanted to go to the NFL. Football just wasn't as fun anymore and wrestling seemed to interest me more. Can I just say something, not to like diagnose or like get you whatever, but like, I don't know if, like it doesn't seem like it's a coincidence that like his parents broke up. He said he was going through a hard time, which led to him getting 14 behavioral strikes. And then he decided if football's boring and now I want to wrestle. Like, that's a kid with a fuck ton of anger issues. The only more aggressive sport than football is wrestling. Yeah. That's somebody who needs to take out all the anger, and they can't do it at home, so they do it. It's cool. And now they do it on YouTube. Okay. Oh my god, another fighting. Jake Paul is your winner! After wrestling season, I found myself lost. I didn't know what my future looked like. I didn't know what I wanted to do. This went on for a couple months until I found out about the Navy SEALs. It was everything I loved. Hard work, mental toughness, guns, fast vehicles, competition. For the next couple of months, that's all I could think about and do. Until summer came and Logan said to me, we should start making videos again. I was so down. Randomly, two weeks later, this app called Vine had just came out. I told my bro about it and he loved it too. Two weeks later, we got into a competition, of course, on who could get more followers. So, here we were in the oh middle of our lives, spending hours. This fucking competition shit right. sucks. Yeah. Well, also, like, they train us to have a competitive spirit. They're trying to get them to be better at football, like go to the NFL. Like, they kind of train them to do this. Right. I realized that I could make money from making videos. This was amazing. I didn't know what to do except freak out. It got to a point where I would go to wrestling tournaments and the competition would ask to take pictures with me or be freaking out. Sometimes though, they would film me if I lost and post it on Vine talking that smack talk. The videos just made me laugh though. The bad part about oh all of and money is that attracts haters. People in my school, the kids that I grew up with started hating on me. They would talk so much smack and tweet me the nastiest things. At first this really upset me and it was hard to deal with. My mom would see the haters and call their moms and yell at them. <laughs> Love you, mom. Eventually, though, I realized that they were just jealous and that was their way of expressing it. I knew that I could turn my internet fame into something massive. And so that's what I set out to do. On my last day of school, I said goodbye. Most kids were still talking smack and a teacher even asked me, What are you going to do when social media dies? On my way out. I just smiled and waved. They didn't understand the vision. 17 and in Los Angeles with a lot to prove, I started grinding every day trying to make things happen. I started by going to acting classes, improv classes, and meeting with anyone I could. But I knew I wanted to do social media, acting, and business. This is when I created Team 10. It started with Alyssa and I, and kept growing, and then now we're growing more and more each month. I mean. Eventually, while all of this was happening, I then got called into audition for Disney Channel's new show called Bizarre Park. It was intimidating and nerve-wracking. My brother said to me, either come back Dirk or come back on your shield. After a couple of auditions and beating out the other actors, I came back Dirk. I remember getting the call and just freaking out. I legit almost cried. It was a dream come true. I filmed the first season of the show already, and we start filming season two here in a couple months. The other week, I got to do the infamous, Hi, I'm Jake Paul, and you're watching Disney Channel, with the wand and everything. <laughs> it's about to be 2017, and that's basically my life in a nutshell. Posting every day on YouTube, acting, doing business, making comedy skits for Instagram, and laughing the rest of the time. If you aren't already a Jake Pauler, you better join the family because we are just getting started. And 2017 is going to be the craziest year yet. That's so ironic because 2017 was like the worst year of his life. Yeah. My gut tells me that Nick got thrown out when the dad came in. I think the dad was like, no, come on, we're going to do this. Like back in like football time. Like me and my boys, we got this. He's a coach. Yeah. And like, I respect the thought of like a dad who's like, come on kids, we got this. But I think, I think that Jake doesn't really have a dad. He just has a boss. Or a co -worker. I think this is like way more deep and complicated than that.
sociopaths. Yes. So what are the characteristics, I guess? Sociopaths believe that like the law doesn't apply to them. I hurt anyone. And like the rules don't apply to them. Always causing trouble. 15 behavior strikes. They drive fast probably. Mm -hmm. Fast vehicles. So they always just think they're better. Whatever we did, we wanted to be the best at. Bigger. Savage. Savages only. So if they're watching a ton of YouTube videos. We started watching YouTube videos as our form of entertainment. Let's say someone was super successful. Our favorite channel was called Smush. If they saw that someone was doing this, they're like, oh, they got so many views. And like, Logan said to me, we should start making videos. YouTube? Then they'll be like, oh, I could do that too. We loved their videos and wanted to create our own channel. And we called it Zoosh. I can mimic that. It was almost the exact same as Smosh. God damn it, Logan, what were we thinking? So they learn like what type of emotional responses get what they want. We love you. Make the heart. Yeah, make a heart. The people in the comments really feel for them. We love you. It's because we love you. And then they'll do that. Maybe they'll buy more merch or whatever, right? Power, money. I realized that I could make money from making videos. You'll leave every conversation feeling like it was worse for them and you feel bad for them. I kind of feel a little bad for them too. I know. You know, or you'll view them in a positive light. You're like, man, that must have been so hard for them. They're such a nice person. Well, but they don't have emotions, so like they wouldn't cry. No. I legit almost cried. They can even be married with kids. Whatever they think helps them fit in, they're gonna put up the best show that they can. I've definitely met a few where I've got that gut feeling, but I don't get that gut feeling. I honestly don't think he is one. I'm gonna keep it real. Are those people probably better manipulators? Or they know enough about you? Damn. Bye. Dear Shane Dawson, you can't just say like, you're a sociopath. The word I would like to use is sociopathic tendencies. So a lot of us, me included, will do some dumb shit. <laughs> Maybe some stuff that lacks empathy. Yeah. Strictly for views, right? It gets us views. I'm gonna be the biggest entertainer on the planet. Which gets us subscribers. Our motivating factor is to reach the next, next, next level. Next level, guys. 2.8 billion views on YouTube this year. Sociopath is boiled down someone who is m just more savage than everyone else. Savage. Savages only. I don't want to piss off the mom and make her feel bad. I just think that she has no idea how bad this looks. Is he going to be mad at me for talking about this stuff? I don't know. Yeah, maybe, probably. We'll see, I guess. Mm. I am not any part of this. Okay, I'm going to cut. <laughs> your fault. Oh, I didn't even know your fault. <laughs> The Alyssa situation with the ex-girlfriend. Um, Jake's kicking me out. <laughs> yeah. I watched her video. And it was both of our faults, really. He shouldn't have treated me like sh day after day and then expect everything to be okay. And I saw videos of him like spitting on her. Was the thing about Logan like hooking up with Jake's ex-girlfriend? Alyssa had sex with his older brother, Logan. How much of all of that is real? It was not, that wasn't planned. That'd be sick if that was planned. But it happened? Yeah.